The purpose of this video is to just kind of show you um, one of the really cool organizational tools that you have available to you on your iPad. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is go into self-service. Um, and once you're in self-service, you will be able to search and download the app called Google Keep. Once you find it and install it, um, you will be able to just get it set up and hooked up to your Google account. The really cool thing about Google Keep is that like all other Google um, apps, it works on any d device that you have um, your Google set up on. So you might have it on your iPad, you could also have it set up on your phone, you could set it up on your home computer, it's totally up to you. So it's really nice because it's just kind of a to-do list that will, um, always be with you. And then there's a couple of different ways to set up the settings so that it reminds you what you need to do. So the first thing that you can do is just to create a note with the plus sign at the bottom right. And then you can title your note however you choose. So maybe you want to do homework um, and just keep a running list um, of the homework that you have to do. Um, and then it's kind of nice because you are able to just type in what you need, and then as you go through it, you can check it off when you finish it, okay? So you can kind of choose how you want to organize your Google Keep. That's really the nice thing for you. So you could choose to do a homework, uh, homework note. You could also choose to organize it by day. Um, and so maybe you want to just make a list of the things that you need to do for that day. Um, and again, you could do science homework, language arts homework. Um, you can kind of organize it however you choose. Another option is to just um, create a different note for each subject and then keep track of the things that you need to do for that subject. Um, with the three dots at the bottom, you can actually change the color of the note too. So I'm going to show you how to do that in one second. Um, and then you can kind of set it up so it's so beautiful. So that's just one way that you can set up a bunch of different types of notes. Um, and next I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the notification settings. So once you get into the note, you can press the little alarm at the top right, and then you can choose to have it remind you that you need to do something. So if you have homework um, that you need to do over the weekend, you could set it for Sunday um, and then to remind you at 4.30 p.m. Um, and then it will just kind of notify you that you need to be doing your homework on Sunday at 3.30, okay? So it could be a really useful tool to just um, send you a notification that says, hey, don't forget about your homework. Um, another option that there is, is if you click on a note and you, again, press the little alarm, you could pick a place. Um, this is kind of cool because then you could set it so that any time that you come home um, or show up at school, it will notify you once it connects to that Wi-Fi that you need to do something now that you're in that place. And so if you are someone who kind of forgets that you have homework the second you get home, or if you're someone who forgets that you need to talk to your math teacher, um, this is a really helpful tool because it will allow you to set up those notifications um, based on location. So that's just kind of cool. Um, it's also possible for you to have it repeat daily. So every day when you get home and you get off the bus um, at 4.30 p.m., it can remind you that, hey, don't forget, you have to do this homework. Um, and then it actually just shows you the list of homework. So that's just one really nifty tool. Um, another option is, of course, to write your notes if you're somebody who likes to get a little bit creative. Um, and it's the same kind of thing where you can set up the notifications to remind you. You can, um, in this way, be a little bit more creative. And it's just kind of, again, a really unique tool to you and your iPad that will allow you to hopefully be successful and maybe a little bit more organized. So. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have questions, uh, please just let me know.